Good start. Starter guard down. All pressure's coming up. Generator down. One, three, and that's Semi ground, Mustang 04, Stallion 51, southwest bound with whiskey. Mustang 04, semi ground, taxi runway 15. 15, Mustang 04. Okay, Chris is going to give us a brake check real quick. Good. Sam, you got the airplane for a second? Just take us out this way. Okay. Try to stay off the brakes. Pull the power all the way back. You got a plenty of speed up. There you go. Just give you an idea. Start your left turn. It's gonna. There's a bit of a lag in it. There you go. Good. I'm gonna put it in the corner over there. Just before you get there, I'm gonna take it back. I just wanted to give you just a quick look at what it feels like to handle. Okay. Normal airplane. Make a left turn. There you go. Okay. Straighten it out. Okay. I've got it. You got it. And I'll just put the stick forward. Now I'm steering with the brakes. Squeaky brakes on this one. Mustang 4, semi tower, runway 15, clear to take off. Clear to take off 15, Mustang 04. Clear up final, clear down field. Hold short of runway 15. Just 2375 Matter, semi tower, hold short 15. Okay, follow me through on the takeoff, please. Don't let me feel you. Using all the runway. And this is for you, Pete. Let's go find it. Can you say it one more time? I just turned the camera on. Okay, this is for you, Pete. Let's go fly. Great. Thank you. All right. Gonna go to 2300 again. One more check on the power. Pulling 30 inches. Green one's good. Cool, it's good. Here we go. 46 inches, and then we wait to 50 knots before we get the tail up. 50 knots. Tail's coming up. Power's coming up. There's 55 inches. Gears coming up. You've got the airplane, Sam. Yeah, in the back there, the airplane. Put your volume off, volume up just as close to John, would you? The intercom volume? Yes, please. There it is. Thank you. Okay, go straight. Let it accelerate to about 190. You have to take off, Mike. 452. All right, you're clear all the way up. Let's make a left turn. Avon's down this way, but we'll keep an eye on that target at our uh, 10 o'clock. All righty. Up to 10. 10.5. That's my eye. Guy's moving right along. Come a little to your left. Let's go into the middle of the restricted area over here. You can see the strafing pits. All right, what's your wings level? Go back to 37 on the manifold pressure and 2300 on the prop.
Just say 2300. Affirmative. Very good. Avon Municipal over there. All right, and you can play with the rotor trim as you see fit. All right, why don't you do some turns left and right, just get a feel for the airplane. Just like if I wasn't here and you were just getting yourself accustomed to something new. There it is. Yep. Clear left. It's a little bit goosey in pitch. Yeah, it sure is. That's a fast airplane. Hey, coming right. Okay. Clear right. All right, back to the left. Let's go back this, this way. There's the Air Force Base over to our left. Do you know the restricted, have you been, ever been in this place before? I passed through it, but never been in the airspace. The, the, the airport here to the right is the Air Force Base. That's the real thing. The left one, the left one is a fake airport. It's just a target. And, and it's, got, it's got some old derelict airplanes on it, but it's got a bunch of plywood uh, MiG-29s in revetments too. And you've got uh, strafing pits. Anyway, this is the target area over here. One of them. All right. Why don't you put the nose down, get a little bit of speed up, and w try some, some gentle wingovers like Shondell's, just to give yourself a little bit more, uh, some more advanced maneuvering. And you can put the nose down as far as you want, Sam. Just pick up a little speed, go, go to 230 or so, and then just kind of do a, a lazy eight Shondell to the right and then to the left. Don't be timid, the airplanes, you're not going to hurt the airplane. Right. Beautiful. Coming right, Roger. Get the nose higher if you want. Don't. It's really, you really no threat. The higher you get it, the better off you're going to be. You'll gain more, gain more altitude, and you'll buy yourself time. Very nice. Takes a little more right rudder over the top on going this direction. Just a touch. Relax the back pressure. Let the nose fall. All right, bring the nose, wings level, bring the nose up. The nose about 20 degrees above the horizon. A little higher, a little higher. Okay, relax the back pressure on the stick, and go ahead and roll it left, do an aileron roll left. You got to up roll. Yep. No big deal. So that's, see how easy it is? Much easier than something like a Citabria. All righty, bring the nose up, let's get some altitude back. I just wanted to introduce one of those real quick. Nose up. Just look at reclaiming altitude. We're going to get slow, and I want to turn some airspeed into altitude. Nose higher. Okay, put down flaps 20, if you can reach the flap handle. See the trim change? Oh, yeah. 
Okay, slow the airplane up. I want to slow it to 80 knots. Bring the nose up. Bring the power back to 26 inches. There you go. Not below 26, please. There you go. Okay, go ahead and retract the flaps and feel the trim change. Yep, nose comes up. Okay, keep trimming the airplane. And give your, yeah, you got some right rudder trim, that's good. We're going to slow it up to about 80 knots. It's going to start buffeting at about 83, 84. Keep it trimmed, make your life easy. Engine's still good, fuel's still good. There's 100. Yep. Notice how it's getting kind of sloppy. Oh, yeah. The buffet's going to start right about there. There's 84. Okay, and you can almost hear it a little bit, too. So okay. Yeah, stabilize it right there. Don't let it get any slower. About 76. So you definitely have a buffet going. No doubt. Now add just a little right rudder. It's going to probably want to break left if you don't. Now go ahead and stall it. Bring the airplane up and stall it, then recover it to slow flight. Pull, 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 pull. Right there. Good. Don't, you don't have to dump it any more than that. Just dump it to the point where you, the buffet stops. Bring the nose up again. Try and just barely bring the nose below the horizon when you recover it. Good. Very nice. And I don't want to recover. I want to recover at the break. I want to. I want to let you see what the airplane does. We're just playing with it. Oh, well, you're right. That is a heavy rudder. It is, but it's very effective. Real nice if you need it. Nose up. Nose up. Looking for a full stop. There's a the puppet. A little bit of right rudder and pull, pull, pull. There it is. Stick forward. Done. Done. That's all there is to it. It wants to buff it again. You're, almost, you're close to getting a secondary. There you go. That's all there is to it. Gives you a lot of warning. Pretty predictable. And that last one was perfectly coordinated because it fell through straight. Okay, you got 110. Put the stick in your lap right now. Put your stick in your lap. Pull. Yeah, aircraft pull, at pull. Uh, 1030. Same altitude, a little low. Airliner. Disregard. Knock it off. Knock it off a second. Put the stick back to... Put the nose back to neutral a second. Okay, now put the stick in your lap. Pull, 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 pull. Boom. That's the accelerated buffet. That was about two Gs. Same thing. Buffet, and it breaks. Let's go that way, please. Let me give you your power back. This is the southern area of the range. You see there's another target down here. Yeah, I got it. Let's go back toward the Air Force Base. Okay. So anyway, the airplane's predictable, and it gives you a lot of warning. It talks to you. But you got to listen to it. All righty. Line it up straight. Go straight. Uh, let's see. Do we have a line up here? Yeah, we got roads going this direction. We're going to do a loop, okay? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you do it. I'm going to talk you through it. Oh, let's go ahead and dive the airplane to 260 knots. And we want about three to three and a half Gs. Let's put your, your rudder trim about neutral, Sam. What I don't want you to do is when we get to the point where we're going to pull up into the, into the loop initially, I don't want you to snatch it. Go smoothly to about three Gs. Okay, all the way to 260 knots, please. Okay, clear above, nice smooth pull, up we go. A little bit more. That's good, just keep your eyes open. Head back, look for the other horizon. Got it? Yep, a little right stick. Yeah, there you go, right there, good. Now, see the roads? Yep, you don't have to float it much. And let's do one more. Yeah, you got all these lines here. Almost perfectly on plane. Very nice. Let's let it go to 260 and we'll do it one more time. Very nicely done. Your pretty nose down. It's going to get to 260 in no time. Right there. There you go. Smoothly three G's up we go. Get pulling. Keep the wings level as you go around. Keep your eye on your wing tips. Very nice. And go through the vertical. 
Uh, over the top. Not a wing. Dad, good correction. Over the top, 90 knots, 11.6. And then we'll just recover to a gentle climb and recover our altitude. That's it. You feeling okay? I'm good. All right. Nose up, back to a climb. Nose up, nose up. Way up. Let's get our altitude back. Give me a left aileron roll. I grab some water first. Yeah, I'll do it now. Left aileron. Go. All right. I got the airplane if you want to get water. Airplane. I've got the airplane. You feeling okay? Yeah, fine. Just right now. Smell that fuel. Stay back. Say again. I'm back. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, you've got the airplane. Fire control. Okay, we're gonna do a barrel roll. Let's get about 230 knots. We're gonna pull up, get the airplane up about 45 degrees nose up before you start rolling in the barrel roll. There's 230. Nice and smooth. And you're gonna be going way uphill on this, so you, there's really no rush. Up, up, up. You start your roll and keep pulling, keep pulling. Once it's upside down, you can come off, back off on the pull just a little bit. Lighten yourself up to about half a G. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Do one more. Get a little more speed. Let's get 250 this time. Get the nose up a little higher and slow the roll rate down. Okay. Up you go. Slow the roll rate down. There you go. All the time. A little bit of back pressure, just to keep your butt in the seat. Very nice. Very, very nice. Isn't that sweet? Oh, that's nice. Okay, give me a big wing over to the right. Let's go back the other direction. I want to go back northbound. Nose way up, a big wing over. One more back angle. There you go. Airplane spoils you. Too bad they cost three million dollars. Yeah, no kids. I want two. <laughs> okay, nose up. Let's take a break. Nose up. Recover your altitude. What year's your Mooney? Sixty-six. That's kind of the 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 Mooney to have, isn't it? The efficient one. It's the short body, real efficient. Good on fuel, great airplane to have, good traveling. Is it like 170 knots or so? Uh, 150, usually 150 or so. I've got a Bonanza. I considered a Mooney, but I, I opted for the Bonanza. Burns a little more gas. Yeah, it does. Got a lot of room in that Bonanza, though. Yeah, it does. For big fat people like me. Yeah, hey, yeah, right. Yeah, you're as fat, fat as I am. Alrighty. How you feeling? I'm good. How about we do a uh, Cuban 8? Sure. Do you remember how to do one? Yeah. Okay. You've got the airplane. Why don't you find something on the ground you can line up with? As a matter of fact, um, you've got your over right now. Lower your right wing. Lower your right wing. See the, see the runway down there? Make a hard left. Hard left. That. The fake runway. Got it. That's your lineup. See your airplane? Have at it. 260, just like the loop, before you pull into it. Give you a little more power. And up we go. Up we go.
going left. Okay. And we'll go right to side. Roger. Little positive, positive G during the roll there. Yeah, a little off center on that one. Yeah, that's the first one though. Do it again if you want. That's right. Get the nose up, let's reclaim our altitude. Let's hop back here, dry out quick. What's that? Let's grab another thing of water. I've got the yeah. airplane. There's all that altitude you wanted. You've got the airplane. I got the airplane. Your dealer's choice. You could do an Immelman, you could do another Cuban 8. I'm just trying to give you the airspeed for an entry. Let's do an Immelman next, huh? Okay, you'll need 260 again to go over the top. On the Immelman, Sam, you want to hurry it a little bit so you get over the top with enough speed to do the half roll, okay? The half roll is that level attitude. Yeah, but what you want to do is it comes over the top just as you start to lay the nose on the horizon, roll just a heartbeat ahead of when the nose hits the horizon. A little anticipation. All right. Just kind of flop it onto the horizon on its belly. Okay, here we go. Roger. Up with you. Clear above. That's the way. Perfect. Came out of it 100, over 110. That's just right. Very nice. Woo! That's fun. That's four G's. Was it? I got 4.2 on my meter back here total. Yeah, well that's mostly pulled the flight. That's about all a scrappy kid from Baltimore can handle, right? Say what? That's about all a scrappy kid from Baltimore can handle. Yeah, you could do better than that with a couple days of practice. Yeah, I'd have to work it. Well, I do a four point uh, hesitation roll. So it's pretty easy in, the, in this thing. Yeah. Okay, lower the nose. Get about 230. Now this, the key to this is stopping every 90 degrees and be kind of aggressive with your roll rate. Kind of really go it, go to it and then stop it every 90 degrees. And start with the nose about 25 degrees above the horizon. Push the stick forward to unload it and then get into your roll. There we go. Pretty nice. On that, on the, on the knife edge stuff, use a little bit of top rudder, and when you're upside down, push it a little bit. Try one more. Bring the nose up. Try one more real quick. It's pretty darn nice, though. Bit of right rudder. There you go. Turn it upside down. Push a little bit. Perfect. Next one, and left rudder. And yeah, you. Okay, finish. Good finish. And bring the nose up and get your altitude back. Yeah, I hit too soon, didn't I? You know, what happened when you were on the last 90, when you were knife edge, you had back pressure, which was bringing the nose across the horizon. Copy. Go the left, thank you. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I've been in there, like I said, I've been in there twice, and it reminded me of, like, old-time Florida. That's exactly what it is. All right, so what's up with the star? You got a zero star down here. I'm not sure. There's got to be a story behind it. Maybe they had the uh, Israeli Air Force over here training, doing an exchange, and they were making them feel at home. I don't know. But go down, uh, go down a little lower, and make a make a turn. Put the put the uh, air base on your left side. The, uh, the regular air base. No, the fake one. Okay. We'll do a 270 left, and then I'll around these. Uh, see the revetments at the far at the far end of the airport. Yep. Those. You gotta look at the MIGs. They look pretty good. They're, 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 but it's just like a movie set. They're just fake. Well, I gotta hit 300 knots here for a second. Okay. Left turn. Keep the nose down. Let it pick up speed. Got old F4s and A4s here that are real airplanes, but they're they're just you know just wrecks. But the stuff in the revetment over there, those are plywood. There's 300 knots. Back it around a little tighter, please. Let's see heats up quick when you put it uh, fast here, isn't it? What's that? It's getting hot back here. Well, we're going lower. Yeah. See an F4 right there. Yep. See the revetments? Yep. Take 29s. They're certainly not real. All the rest of the stuff is like shipping containers, just fake, little fake terrorist town and everything. All right, go straight, climb. Let's go back and get a little bit of altitude up. Start your right turn. Go right over the top of the airport at 1,500. Altitude for now. Altitude is at clear to land 15, and we got the bus to get set. 735 November Golf, five miles. 735 November Golf, Mitar. Continuing down toward the midfield right now on runway 15. Midfield right down on 15. Report over to the We'll tell over to the Okay, so Mustang 04 descend to a thousand to prove with a left brake, clear to land number two. Thousand feet left brake, clear to land in front of one five Mustang 04. Thousand feet left brake. Yep, I'm going to call your brake. We're going to brake at the far end because I want to give this guy room to get down. Sure this is your first flying lesson? You're doing really well. Yeah. First time ever. Wow, you must fly that Microsoft Flight Simulator a lot. Okay, clear right, or clear left, brake left. Flaps 20 in the brake, please. Flaps 20. You don't have to be perfectly level, just pull it around. Nice snug downwind, please. I'm looking for your traffic. You out there, uh, you might have traffic at 12 o'clock, less than a mile, 2,000. Let's put it back. You have to stop that. 2,000, yeah, we picked them up right there. That last guy's radio call, and uh, not, a, not a factor. I can't do this up there. Okay, I've got your traffic. Passing over the high, 192. Here's coming down. After passing Cooper, remain out above 1,500. Report, Mr. Proach. Report, Mr. Proach, out of... Three green, handle D10. Into the back. Just stand down with for a second. I want to give him time to get off the runway. Nose down just a touch. Go flaps 30. Flaps 30. Turn your base. Fairly sharp turn. Flaps 40. Flaps 40. 
flap is 50. Final flap. Final flap. Your, your check, turn, make your turn. It's going faster than you think, Sam. Make your turn. You're going to overshoot. Power up just a little bit. Power up just a tiny bit. Okay. Power back now just a little bit. 115 is your minimum. Put it in the middle. Put it on the numbers if you can. Keep it coming down. Leave the power now until the flare. Okay, round it out, round it out, round it out. Power off, power off, power off, power off. Keep it straight, keep it straight. Okay, land the tail, land the tail. Straight, keep it straight, land the tail. Bring the stick back, bring the stick back. Keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight. Keep it straight, keep it straight. Keep it straight. Okay, I've got the airplane a second, I'll use the brakes. Nice. Didn't want to flare there. Yeah, no kidding. Fire. Hey, Kissimmee Tower, helicopter 7133 Echo is up for downtown Disney. Kissimmee 33 Echo, traffic right over here at 900 feet on the downwind. Mustang 04, ground point 7 off runway. Mustang 4, thank you. 15100, zero, zero, west departure, approved on 15, cleared for takeoff. Clear takeoff, runway 15, five, west departure, approved, that's uh, 9. We also say, uh, 2368. And there we go, Skip, we cheated to death. One, go three, 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 seven, five, four, tango, at the uh, right. Jet Center. Uh, request taxi to the active uh, for VFR. Got a Cessna going in there. there. We'll have X-ray. Yeah. Number 3754 Tango, Kissimmee Ground, continue straight ahead, hold short to X-ray Alpha. Continue straight ahead and hold short of taxiway Alpha, 3754 Tango. Mustang 04 off at Alpha 2%. Four. There's becoming fewer and fewer of those guys. <laughs>